You have four months. On Monday, Boris Johnson announced that on the 21st of June, the gates will be lifted and lockdown will be over. All the lads and ladettes can go and meet up in the clubs and get away from their boring Tinder conversations. That is about four months away, give or take a few days, but we actually aren't in any condition to be that social butterfly that we need to be come June 21st. We have been in a rut for the last year, but it's okay. We were forced to be put into that rut. We were forced to stay inside. It's not the first time I've been in a rut. I feel like I've lost my mojo or lost the, the jazz that is me. You've probably clicked on this video because you find yourself in a similar situation and you're not alone. If you type into Google, how to get out of a rut is one of the first things that comes up in the search bar. So how do we get out of this rut and get ourselves ready for when the world is open again? Well, you've come to the right video because we're gonna learn how to unrut ourselves and become that jazzy self that we all love by June 21st. Step one is wake up at the same time every day. You hear it constantly that in order to get more healthy, you need to get more sleep. Us humans work best when we have seven to eight hours sleep. Me personally, anything less than nine and I wake up tired. But it's just as important to have predictability in our sleep patterns. Our brain craves it. When it comes to energy levels, your wake up time is more important than your bedtime. Your body's internal clock loves a predictable wake up time. So if you're serious about getting out of your rut, then instead of saying, I'm going to go to bed tonight at 10 p.m., obviously try and get to bed at a sensible time, but set a non-negotiable wake up time every single day and it will help you out a ton. Step two is it's time to allow yourself to be bored. We have spent most of this quarantine and lockdown filling the boredom. I've spent most of it playing way too much Xbox with my friends and watching every single murder mystery documentary there is on Netflix with my girlfriend. And I mean all of them. I'm getting to the point now where I think I know how to murder somebody and get away with it. I'm not going to, obviously, but I'm pretty sure I wouldn't get caught. Anyway, the reason I'm saying this is at the moment through social media, Xbox gaming, Netflix, TV, our boredom is being filled for us and we've been putting off the important things that need addressing. These things only seem to come to light when we're bored. This channel, for instance, it only came about because I was bored. After being made redundant and in my boredom, I talked myself into actually picking up the camera for the first time and starting my first YouTube video. You've got so much time on your hands right now. Work out what's important to you and what's important to your future self and don't get distracted. Step three is work out what it is that you need to get your butt off for. Maybe it's that you need to get that summer body. There's a very real chance that come June, July, you're gonna be sat on a beautiful beach in Ibiza, but the current you is very uncomfortable about that idea. So the obvious thing is to start exercising. Amazing, exercise in general is great for getting out of a rut. It boosts your mood and makes you feel better about the person in the mirror, but wait, like many of your previous goals, you go absolutely ham and start a workout routine that is unsustainable in the long run. It's called the yo-yo effect. It seems like a great idea at the time, but you burn out quite quickly because it's too much for you and your noodle arms, so you give up. Yes, I think I have noodle arms. Instead, start an achievable workout routine. Start slow and build up over a few weeks, but do build it up and stick to it. And soon you'll start looking and feeling fantastic. Step four is remember you will never get these next four months back. I'm pretty sure you've been looking at this lockdown like it's been an annoyance on your life, like it's got in the way of you living your life. But with lockdown, there's a simplicity to your life. You know what's ahead of you every single day. You know what your schedule is. There's no unpredictability about it. This is the perfect time for you to start a habit without being completely distracted. These are all to come soon. You haven't got to go to that party 
or the sixth wedding of that month. And believe me, there's gonna be a lot of weddings coming up. Maybe you gotta go back to normal work routine in the office, or maybe you gotta go back to school. Never have you had so much time and predictability. This is fertile soil for developing habits. You have so much time still on your hands with none of the distractions. You have a four month opportunity to make this the turning point in your life. Lock in these habits now so you can take them into your normal life. Step five in getting yourself out of your lockdown rut and getting yourself ready for normal life is to start getting social again. Like exercise, where we work out our muscles, we also need to kind of work out our brain. When I haven't spoken to somebody for a while, I do feel a little bit weird and uneasy going into social situations straight away. Being the social butterfly that you want to be again will take time, you need to work on it. Time to stop ignoring people and being in your own head. Message a friend and work out a good time for you guys to have a phone call. Chat about anything and everything and start working out that brain. Then when you can meet that friend or others in outdoor situations, then do so. Go and meet them in the park, have a coffee, have a beer on a bench. Because studies have shown that face-to-face -face interactions are far better for you than uh, messages or phone calls. You'll be quite surprised how amazing you feel after a quick social interaction. And it'll also help the other person to feel great too. So what's not to love? So there you have it. You have four months until everything is supposedly back to normal. Let's use this time wisely so our future selves can thank our lockdown rutty selves. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button. It means a lot to me. And if you want to get more great life advice, then hit that subscribe button. Until the next one, peace.